The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. When we got our first color TV, it was a big deal in my family. We were working class, Puerto Rican, and not used to such luxury. So when we got a color TV, we had really arrived in America. Every Sunday night, me and my sister would watch Wonderful World of Disney that always started with the same announcement. The following program is brought to you in living color on NBC. And then you would hear the NBC chimes. See if I get it right. Well, that was a long time ago. Now you turn on NBC and the farthest thing from your mind is color. What's going on at NBC? Last week, Wake Forest University professor and MSNBC television host, Melissa Harris Perry, was abruptly pulled from the airways without even a chance to say goodbye. NBC said they wanted a show that was more about politics. But I have to say that when I watched the show, Melissa Harris Perry was talking about politics in a unique way, like few others on the airwaves. She brought diverse voices to the table to talk directly and unapologetically about the politics of race in America, a major theme among candidates and a critical conversation to include on the airwaves. I'm sad to see her go, just like Alex Wagner before her, but I'm even sadder because I don't think these are isolated cases. Anchorman Jose diaz Ballard is another voice that seems to be disappearing from English language airwaves. You remember Jose. He's the Telemundo anchorman NBC would bring out to ask a question, only one question, about immigration during the Republican presidential debates in 2012. You may have met his brother, Lincoln. He used to sit over there. And his other brother, Mario, still does. Jose had a two-hour show on MSNBC and did a very good job. But Jose is a lot harder to find these days. They cut him back, and now it seems that they're cutting him out. For example, MSNBC announced that they were sending a team of reporters to Florida to report on the primary next Tuesday. But not Jose, one of the most respected and recognized journalists in America who happens to be from Miami and a Florida political dynasty. Apparently, he's not the right guy to report on politics in Florida. And let's not forget the great NBC racism flip-flop last year when NBC severed its ties to Donald Trump because of his racist remarks about Latinos, only to have him host their flagship comedy show Saturday Night Live a few months later, right? That was right about the same time last fall when NBC's executives met with members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus and NBC News President Deborah Turnus told us, we love the Hispanic community as she updated us on strides that we're making on diversity and hiring. She made it very clear that she had our community's interest at heart when she said, yo hablo espanol, in her beautiful British accent. Most of the news coverage of this meeting was about when she used the term illegals to describe immigrants, which, in case you needed a reminder, is not a good idea when you're meeting with members of the Hispanic Congressional Caucus. Well, forgive me, for not noticing just how much progress NBC was making on diversity when some of the most visible people of color at NBC, like Alex Wagner, Melissa Harris Perry, and Jose Diaz Ballard, are disappearing. But let's be clear this is not about quotas, window dressing, or checking the diversity box. Journalists of color bring a different texture, a different perspective on what issues matter and what should be discussed and debated on television. The reality is that our nation has become more diverse and our television and our news media and our political institutions, including the Democratic and Republican parties, have not kept up. When NBC has a bad year when it comes to race or when the Oscars have a couple of bad years when it comes to people of color, these are moments to talk about and confront the emotions and ideas we all have, we all have about race and ethnicity. In a good time, it's a good time to think about the phrase e pluribus unum really means in America today. This is a discussion we should all be having all of the time here in this body, on news programs, and in entertainment. And it's a discussion I hope every family is having at their dinner table.